Hey everybody, uh, I've got a short video here just of how to put a theme from your computer onto the iPhone. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking about that, um, how to do that, so here you go. Uh, you're going to have to know how to SSH. If you don't know how, check out the video on how to SSH. Very simple. Uh, so I have my login stuff saved, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit login. And the theme is going to go into one of two folders. Uh, if we're lucky, it's going to go into the library slash themes folder. And if not, it'll go in the private ver stash themes folder. Actually, we got my themes folder. My themes are right there, but let me show you guys a little bit more about what I mean as I adjust the camera. Uh, you can see the stash up there. Uh, if you guys watched SSH, you know about this drop down box. There's a uh, private right there, ver and stash. Uh, to get here, um, we can start off say at root. Uh, if I say say go to the private folder, uh, or if I say uh, what I just said, you know, it's in the private ver stash themes folder. Uh, all that means is first we're going to go open the private folder, and then we're going to open the ver folder. And you guys know what's coming next: the stash folder, and then the themes folder. Now, now all your themes should be in folder format. They have to be a folder. You can't just stick like one thing in there and have it be a theme. Um, you can drag it from anywhere on your computer. Um, doesn't have to be from the My Documents folder, which is what's displayed over here. And I'm actually going to drag one uh, from the desktop, so I'm going to move the uh, screen around a little bit. Uh, the way I like to do it is like this. I'm actually going to go back one click that up so you guys can see it. I'm going to go back one click so I'm back here so I can see that themes folder right there. And what I'm going to do is come over here and look up what I have on my desktop. And I can do that very simply by just clicking that, go to the desktop, and we're going to use this one right down here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It says icons.theme. All of your themes have to end in dot theme, just to let you guys know. So what we're going to do is we're just going to snatch that and put it right on the folder that says themes. We'll let it go when it's highlighted, and then it'll ask us if we want to copy it. And yes, we do want to copy it. And it will go ahead and copy everything that we have in there to the themes folder. And just to make sure it copied OK, we'll open up that themes folder, and we see icons.theme right there. And what you'll need to do next is go ahead and close out WinSCP and then turn off your iPhone or iPod Touch and then turn it back on and then you will see your new theme being displayed in Winterboard. To activate it, you just tap your theme once you open Winterboard and then hit the home button and whatever theme you just activated uh, will now show up on your iPhone or iPod Touch. If you guys got any questions, let me know.